Hey guys, well, K-State got their butt whipped yesterday by Nebraska with a score of 48-13. to That was humiliating, humiliating, and bad and downright confusing. I thought we were better than that, but obvi better than that, obvi but obviously we weren't. I thought we could uh, make an uh, have an upset or have a closer game than it actually was, but Nebraska pulled it out and killed us by 35, 48 to 13. That's embarrassing. Well, one there were bad play calling most of the game. There were some of the plays. On, I just want to. I just scratched my head and said, what are you calling this play for? Bad play calling was part of it. And KFT made big mistakes. They gave up big yards, big chunks of yards to Nebraska on the ground and the air. On the defense, on the defense, they gave up 30 and 50. 30, 40, 50 yard runs against Nebraska. You just can't have that. We cannot let teams run over us like that and give up 30 yard runs every play. That's what Nebraska basically did every play. Ran 30 yards and then we finally tackle them. That's embarrassing. And then pass over us, pass all over us too, which didn't help us any either. So giving up big yards won't, doesn't help us. I think we need to before we play KU next Thursday. I think we need to stop this nonsense and buckle up and play better defense than we did it against Nebraska yesterday. We need to have a better defense and stop the run. And we can win. And to help us win, we cannot. We need to move the ball, which we did not do that against Nebraska. We did not move the ball. There's some light, some good plays on offense, but not very much. This is embarrassing. If we want to beat the next seven teams we play this year, we need to move the ball and stop the run and not give up big yards and stop the pass too. We cannot give up big yards and we need to move the ball. So I need to quit repeating myself but that's what I think. Goffman improved a little bit but not quite. He was 14, 14 for 22 on passing, 91 passing yards, one touchdown one passing touchdown and one interception. He had seven carries, 45 rushing yards, and uh, no t rushing touchdowns. Uh, and Thomas, he did not do well again this this week. This is the second consecutive week he didn't reach 100 yards rushing in a game. He had 22 carries, 63 yards rushing, and no t rushing touchdowns. With no fumbles, I don't think. I'm not sure. The one person, one player that killed us uh, from the, on the Nebraska side was his quarterback Martinez. His last name is Martinez. He was he's a good player, and his the his teammates around him made him look good. I give him that. Uh, Martinez was five for seven, with 128 passing yards, one touchdown, and no interceptions. Yeah, you went five or seven on passing, and the bad thing he did against us very well was rushing against us. He had 15 carries, 241 touchdowns, and he had four rushing touchdowns. Killed him one, two, three, and four. Four rushing touchdowns. That killed us. If we want to be the next seven teams we have left, we need to cut that down and not have one player have four. Four rushing touchdowns and one passing touchdown. We could not have that happen if you want to beat the next seven teams on our schedule. So, 
if we want to do better and win the next seven games and have a chance to win the North and maybe go to the Big 12 Championship game, we need to win the next six, seven games and hope Nebraska loses two of them, two of their remaining conference games. Well, we win the next six conference games and the last non-conference game of the season. So, I hope we do that and Nebraska loses two conference games. So, if I have to rate the units of yesterday's game between Nebraska against Nebraska, I have to give the offense a D minus because they kind of stunk. So, and they didn't move the ball, like I said, very well. I give the D defense the same rating of D minus because they gave up big plays to Martinez in the receivers and the other running backs and stuff like that. We give them a D minus too. I give the special team unit, special teams unit, a C because they helped a little bit because there were two, our kicker had two full goals and an extra point and our, we had some good shining moments on the special uh, kickoff returns. So we had some light there. And I gave the coaching an F. Somehow they did not get our players brought, uh, pumped up and bad calling and stuff like that. So, and oh yeah, and our injuries did not help either. Our, or one of our best wide receivers got hurt in the third or fourth quarter, which got, which he got uh, carted off. So. We need to cut down on injuries to two to win the next seven games, which is six conference games and one non-conference game. So we need to keep our players healthy to win the next seven games. So if I had to give an MVP award, then my MVP award I give it to the Nebraska quarterback Martinez because he was the absolute baller in this game. He was. The all around good. I give him that, and I get prop give him props for that. And the Nebraska team all over. Every single player played like they're supposed to, and they beat us with it. They shoved the ball down our throats, and I give them props for that. Even though I have kind of hard for me to admit that. So that's probably all for me for now. So in one last message. I want to say happy birthday, Coach Snyder. Hope it was a nice birthday for you. So, go stay and emo.